Why, hello there, everybody, and welcome to the Tuesday video. Today, we are doing some thrifting. Now, today, 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 like today that I'm living in right now today, I am going to be going to the bins. I actually am not going to the gym today for a couple reasons, but whatever, that doesn't matter here. So I'm going to the bins. I have been running some errands this morning and I actually still have a few left. So on my way to the bins, I need to drop off quite a few packages, but I mean, that's besides the point. I'm thinking today we're going to be doing one of those, like we just kind of thrift around town and have a bunch of different thrift stops in one video situations. I definitely don't know where we're going. There's unfortunately no other new Goodwills opening up in my area, so we can't have a repeat of that. I will say I have been back one other time since that video and it wasn't as good, but honestly they hadn't rotated much inventory yet. It was kind of, but like quickly after or soon after I had went, like it was maybe only like a week and a half later. Honestly, I don't think I gave it enough time to fully restock, but it wasn't as good, I will say. Maybe we'll go back there. Obviously there's always Unique on the table too. I go to Unique so often and I feel like anytime I go off camera, Unique is like, oh my gosh, here's all the most amazing stuff in the world. Maybe I can like <laughs> catch Unique off guard and I'll just pretend that I'm not gonna film. And then I'll walk in and I'll like open my camera and Unique will be like, oh my gosh, look at all this good stuff. We didn't know you were coming with a camera. Okay, so I'm on my way to the post office and I just got Starbucks to fuel up for this bins trip. This is kind of a weird day. It's Ryan has conferences this week and today is like a prep day and there are conferences happening. So he has like this weird 12 hour work day which he's gonna have then a four hour work day, I think coming up on like a different day of the week. So I have a long day today to like get a lot done, which is great because I do have a lot to get done. But I wasn't even really gonna go to the bins today because I kind of have like a huge bag of the house of stuff. I should be listing and everything, but I have so much time that I'm just gonna go to the bins anyways, because <laughs> this is a day I'd normally go. <laughs> there's a, there's a, there's a, the, the talkative gene in me that's like, oh my gosh, I should just sit here and film like a little chit chat on the drive to the bins, but I know nobody wants to see that. So I will just let you guys go until I get to the post office or the bins. And so we arrive at the bins. The first thing I spotted was a coat that I definitely felt like I should look into because looking at the tag, it said made in France, which to me seemed like a good sign, but actually it was nothing. And thank goodness I showed up, I guess, because in the first row, they were just about to pull all the bins and I found this freaking so cute Y2K Christian Dior boutique t-shirt with gems all over the front. You may be like, hey, that looks not real. Trust me, this is real. I've had a number of Christian Dior boutique pieces and they really heavily leaned into the Y2K thing when it was first a thing. I won't actually be picking this up, but this is possibly a new men's bolo brand upon looking up comps. It's called Flint and Tinder. And like I just said, the comps look really good, but this piece actually had a big hole in it. And as you can see, it was super, super pilly and washed all throughout. So I didn't really want to try it today. I found a couple good pieces. I've been getting a lot of good stuff to consign, thank goodness, because I'm gonna be going to Turnstile again this week. But though there are some watermarks on the bottom of this dress, I'm definitely getting it because it is a Beholden Anthropology Bridesmaids dress. These do so well and go for so much. I'm very excited about that. I also found these really cute Madewell jeans, a really, really good style, the wide leg crop, their button fly, their classic wash, so good. I love to pick up Madewell jeans like this. And I actually found this Banana Republic Not Outlet jacket. I think this is such a nice, cute jacket. It's super current too. It's from 2022. It's so structured and so high quality. I wish you guys could feel it. It's really nice. I haven't really found more for me to sell since we last checked in, but I found more to consign, so I guess that's nice. I did, however, find this Citizens of Humanity sweatshirt polo. 
but there's this big spot at the front and there's something about these yellow stains that just never come out of stuff. Next up, I found a new to me log and look brand, Yushi it is called, and it looks like they retail for about 98 for some of their stuff and like 198 for other pieces of theirs. I don't really know what makes the difference, but definitely something worth picking up. And I'm taking a note out of Ryan's book, and I'm going to be picking up one of these Nordic Fair Isle sweaters. He always gets these if they are wool and just genuine vintage, no matter what brand, and that's exactly what this is. I love the colors too, so hopefully I have as much luck as him. Then I found one of my favorite brands to sell, Koss. This is quite a boring piece, but honestly, a lot of Koss stuff is pretty plain, so I'm definitely getting this, especially at the bins. Then I found a new to me brand. This is an expensive one. It's called Suit Supply. This is a wool and cashmere blend turtleneck. It's men's. It has a couple spots on it, but with the retail prices, I'm still gonna get it anyways. I also found this Zara sweater, really cute. I don't pick up Zara anywhere but the bins, and I only pick up the Zara that's really cute. So that's why I'm getting this. Here's another new to me brand, it's called Her Pony, and it seems like they make kind of retro inspired modern pieces. They retail really high, so I'm gonna give it a shot. Also, I picked up this sweater. This is just a vintage sweater that is really cute. It's by some kind of vintage brand, but it's a golf graphic sweater. I really like that it has that cursive front nine on the bottom, and it actually has the same graphics on the back. Kind of reminds me of Lingua Franca lettering. And I found a baby Oshkosh piece. Some of these can do so good. You gotta look for the paper tag on the inside that says Made in the USA. That's usually the good stuff. This is such a cute piece with camping bears. This is, not surprisingly, Young, Fabulous, and Broke. I feel like everything they make is this kind of tie-dye stuff. I'll pick it up at the bins if it's in really good shape, and if not, I'll just consign it. Then I found some Madewell shorts. I love the color on these, and I really, really like this kind of a V front detail to them. They're a size 30, so they're a good size too, and of course with spring, you can't go wrong. I also found this skirt. This is a Zara skirt, a slightly older label, but it's a really long skirt. And honestly, with skirts, the longer the better for me. I feel like I have the best luck with maxi skirts, and you can't go wrong with a snake print. And last up, I found this H&M men's corduroy shirt. I might give a shot. Good morning once again, everybody. And welcome to the second thrifting trip of today's video. Actually, today we're making a return to the bins. So this is a double bins trip to rift with me. I'm still probably gonna end up going to a couple other places or at least another place in the end of this video, like a normal Goodwill, but today we're going to the bins again. So it is actually the next Monday right now, which also means <laughs> This was yesterday when you guys are seeing this, and it is the first like normal day after the time change. <laughs> and oh my gosh, I am feeling it. I think Ryan was too. I think everybody, after, after that loss of hour of sleep, it is hard to not feel it. I'm gonna power through it right now. I'm headed to the gym as per usual, and then I'm gonna be going to the bins. But yeah, I'm just trying to, I had my entire coffee already. I like chugged it, so I'm hoping that we can like wake up and have some luck at the bins. I feel like the trip that you guys just saw was eh, pretty like lackluster. It wasn't dreadful, but it certainly wasn't like amazing. So I'm hoping that today we have some better luck. Honestly, I have some pretty like easy requests, simple goals that I want to accomplish at the bins or like bolos that I want to find. Like I would love to just find some good spring and summer like dependable brands. I'd love to find some Faraday. I'd love to find some Ever Eve. I would love to find, I don't like Everlane or really good, like I don't, the J. Crew Liberty, just that type of stuff. Those good, like reliable $35 to $40 sales. I would love to stock up on some of that stuff. I don't know. I just, 
that's that's kind of the like mind space I'm in and as we've been saying on What's Old Saturdays we're totally getting into the part of the year where people are really gonna be thinking spring and spring shopping like for example today it is so sunny outside it's so nice and I think our high is like 65 degrees today it's like a record breaker what do you think about when that happens you think about spring like I'm in shorts today and a short sleeve polo I just think that we are so on that cusp of like the good, good spring shopping that I want to get a lot of good spring stuff. I really don't want sweaters. I really don't want too much for like jackets and stuff. Of course, you guys know me. I would never skip a good one, but I don't want that. I'm not like looking for that. I just want the good spring stuff. So yeah, Faraday and Ever Eve and Anthro and that type of stuff is like right on the top of my mind. So that's what I'm looking for. Even like good Madewell or of course like Free People or like a really good couple Urban Outfitters pieces that even I would like to sell. Like that's what I want. I want the stuff that can be put into inventory easily and is spring central. So I'm hoping that we can have some luck. I also of course gotta get some stuff to consign. I've actually taken about two months off of consigning at our turnstile because they had way too much inventory at the season switchover, but this week I'm gonna start going back again. So I do need that stuff as well, which once again, that's like spring blouses and stuff, but maybe more like Banana Republic and J. Crew and Loft and stuff. So I'm doing that as well. So we're really, we just got spring on the mind. It's very fitting for the weather. It's hard, it's always hard to go to the bins and be stuck in the bins all day when <laughs> it's like record breaking nice temperature outside. It's so hard for me to stay. I usually end up leaving early. Hopefully you guys are surviving the time change well if your state goes through the time change. I think there's like two states that don't. I know Arizona, I think doesn't do the time change. But if you did experience the leap forward in an hour of time, I hope you're doing okay. <laughs> I, I hope everything's okay with you. I'm, I think I'm doing fine. I just, yesterday, you don't notice on the Sunday because like you can kind of sleep usually as long as you want on a Sunday. But then that next Monday when you're like, wow, I survived that so well, you realize maybe not. Okay, so I'm gonna finish driving to the gym and then we're gonna pop over to the bins and we are gonna go spring shopping. Well, I made it to the bins and there was a rotation happening right when I walked in, so I waited behind that red line to pounce. And I actually found quite a lot of good stuff right away in the first rotation. A good bin landed right in front of me, so I'm gonna sort through this stuff and then I will show you guys what I picked up. Well, I got a couple things to consign, of course, right there. And then I also got a few things to sell. First up is a Skims kind of high-waisted brief underwear situation. Perfectly clean, perfectly good condition. I love to sell Skims, so this is a good pickup. I also found this Spanx bra. This needs to be cleaned up a little bit, but I think this is totally worth it. Spanx still does really good for me, except the extra small and small leggings, so it should do fine. Well, I didn't want sweaters, and this is actually a brand I don't really like to sell, but it's a really expensive brand, so this is a Kit and Ace sweater vest. I will say, this is a really cute piece by them, and it's made of really nice, high-quality materials, so I will be getting it. And I found another sweater that I'm definitely gonna be getting. This is actually a Free People sweater. It was really hard for me to show you guys, but it's this chunky, super new Free People sweater. I'll have to show you in the haul, but it's, it's cute and it's worth getting. Quickly after that rotation, there was already another clothing rotation underway, but I think I want to return back to that row because there was some pretty good stuff over there. Well, this rotation was good too. So I have a big stack to sort through once again, but I think I'm just gonna sort with you guys this time. So first up, we have this scarf, which is just right up the spring alley that I was looking for. So this is a Kate Spade black and white scarf. Gotta get it, even if it's fall or winter. I found this Madewell double zero dress. It's really cute and I would sell it myself if it wasn't double zero. So I actually will be consigning this dress. No, it is not missing a button. 
And yeah, it's gonna go to the consignment store. I just can't sell double zeros, especially from Madewell. Then I found this Eileen Fisher jacket wool coat situation. <laughs> Once again, very winter, very fall, but this is a super nice, really, really great condition Eileen Fisher piece, so I guess. Then I found this leopard print blouse. This is just loft. This is a perfect thing to bring to a consignment store, and that is what I will be doing with that. Next up, we have a J. Crew men's blazer. This is not really my favorite style and it's not extremely current it's from 2020 so it's decently current but i'm gonna look it up and make my decision from there the women's blazers i love the men's are kind of 50 50. then i found this new with tags urban outfitters staring at stars cardigan it's a really old brand from them so honestly i probably won't even get this even though it is new with tags if it was fall i'd get it to consign I also got this blazer. It's a Brooks Brothers blazer. It's like a linen cotton material, super clean. This is one that I'll be consigning. It's a great spring blazer with the stripes. I also found this Banana Republic piece. This is new with tags, so this is a great contender to bring to the consignment store with the faux leather. I know it's not really spring, but I think they'll take it. Next up, I found this blazer, another J. Crew blazer, but this one is women's. And like I just said, I love selling women's J. Crew blazers, so I'm totally getting this one. I also found this coat, but this was just some brand I wanted to Google that actually ended up being nothing, and it was totally damaged, so I threw it back. And then I found a leather jacket that I'm going to take the lining out of and maybe pick up. Went back to that row and grabbed a couple more things. Quite a few things I actually have to Google before I show you guys to see if they're even worthwhile. And then I found this Ever Eve pair of pants. I was really excited because you guys know I wanted to find some Ever Eve today, but they're actually just lice and <laughs> no, 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 no thanks. So I will be consigning these. I don't like to sell lice at all, whether it be Ever Eve or not. I found for Evan a couple Target Dog plushies. He does like to sell these. Evan's my brother if you're new here. He sells a lot of like collectibles and things and a bluey plushie for him as well. But this I grabbed for Ryan. This is a De Seagal piece and it is actually a De Seagal dress. So I've been selling some of the sweaters recently but a lot of the other stuff I give to Ryan, it just kind of fits his more unique and kooky aesthetic to his shop. And this one actually has De Seagal as spell out on the back, kind of weird. I found this new brand. This does seem to be a new men's bolo. It's called Poncho, and it's really called Poncho Outdoors or Poncho Outdoor Wear. Their whole thing is they have these like patented magnetic pockets. I guess it would be pretty handy, but it just seems like a kind of random thing. Up next, I found quite a few more really, really good pieces that can't be skipped that are not spring. I found this Abercrombie & Fitch super, super nice jacket. I know for a fact this will sell quick, easy, and for a good amount, so I gotta get it. Then I found some gray jeans. They're wide leg, they're wedgie, so cute. They're the quality denim, they're Levi's, they're fall. But like, I can't skip that. Then I found a sweater. Just what I was looking for. This is an Ever Eve sweater. It's a good size, it's size large, it's really cute, really soft, and actually the comps on it are super good, so I have to get it. And like, are you kidding me? I found this leopard sweater coat that is literally by Aldo Martens, a super expensive anthro brand, and it's so nice. Like, I, I'm being pranked. The universe heard me and said, oh, it's opposite that you want fall and winter pieces and no spring. Oh my gosh, guys, I hit the freaking tie jackpot. You guys know I like to sell Hermenegilda Zenya ties and I found like 50 plus of them. But even better, guys, I found this little turtle tie and it is Hermes. This is the first time I've ever found Hermes anywhere that is a thrift store or consignment store. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I gotta hide him. 
Another rotation down and let me show you what I found. So finally something that fits the aesthetic that I was looking for. I found a new with tags anthropology. I honestly didn't even know they sold Daniel Rain ever. So this is really cute with the peacocks all over it. I love it. Then I found a new to me log and look brand, Heinbogu. I don't even know how you would say that. But the comps, or at least the retail on these, are crazy. So I'll tell you more about that in the haul as well. Then I found a J Crew 100% cashmere turtleneck. You guys know how I feel about J Crew cashmere, so once again, I can't skip this. I also found this anthropology sweater. I held onto it for a while, but the wear to it and dirtiness just. No, I couldn't get it, so I ended up throwing it back. I found a Pedalton Trail shirt. This is a really nice wool shirt. Just, you know, perfect long sleeve wool for spring. Yeah, of course, but I'm gonna be getting that. Then I also found this Patagonia Quarter Zip Better Sweater. It seems like people are like skipping these now, which I don't really understand. Another rotation. Let's go. It's crazy to me how far we've come with Good American. I am not even gonna be getting these at the bins. These are skinny jeans by Good American. They're a wash that I really don't like. There's possibly some spandex wave, not really sure. And there's a few little specks to them, so I'm skipping these. It just feels weird to do that. Then for Ryan, I found this Cocoon brand Y2K bell sleeve kind of top very his depop aesthetic and last i finally found something that was on my mental wish list and it was this really cute very modern madewell spring dress from 2022 i'll take it i looked at my last rotation and actually found quite a few more really good pieces a lot of them <laughs> being fall winter but i'm going to show you those in the hall so you'll just have to wait to see those but i will show you this really cool book i found it is decorating ideas and it's talking about how to decorate your house when this book was made and this book was made at peak mid-century so the entire book is filled with mid-century rooms living rooms decor ideas bathrooms this is amazing i want my house to look like every room in this book it is just fantastic Hello everyone, so this is the final day of our little thrifting kind of week that we have going on here. So I am going to a Goodwill today and it's one of my favorite Goodwills that I go to quite frequently. It is right by a post office because I have quite a lot of mail to drop off. I'm actually running to Clothes Mentor again with some higher end stuff, so I'm hoping to make some money off of that. Of course, I'm not gonna make like a consigning video once again out of this, but just to update you guys on what I'm doing. I'm in the backyard right now it is so nice today so i am gonna go run my errands quick even though i feel like i have a lot and then we're gonna go to goodwill and hopefully find some good stuff so let's go all right on the way to goodwill and yes i am in a completely different outfit even though i just filmed that clip like three seconds ago i just got this new polo in the mail by etro and i love it so i had to put it on right away it fits the vibe of the weather today like i said i'm gonna drop off mail first and actually a lot of these packages are the ones that you guys got from me that i talked about in the last what sold saturday so there's the small the tj's bag is polly's and the orange ikea bag is boxes but like i said i'm also stopping by clothes mentor and i'm gonna try to drop off some of my like bougier pieces i have just like a couple luxury or designer dresses that aren't doing as well as i'd like and then i also have some like sandals and just very like spring stuff that's either like luxury or designer that i'm just gonna see nowadays they actually have to get them authenticated which i think is great but when you bring stuff in, it takes a little bit longer then. They have to authenticate things that are 
like luxury. They send them, I think, to Real Authenticate, which is usually what I would also use. I think that's what they use. So Goodwill is actually gonna be the last stop because you always gotta keep the best for last <laughs> and the most fun for last. So that's last. Oh shoot, I think I left my FedEx packages. Dang, okay, well. The Mercari sales are gonna be delayed by a day. So I'm gonna run on my errands and I'll check in with you guys, I guess when I get to Goodwill. So see you then. Interestingly enough, it seems like this Goodwill now has a full purse aisle or handbag aisle. It's weird because our Goodwills in Minnesota always used to have a lot of handbags against an entire wall in the back at every store, but then they just stopped doing that and now they only kept like 10 at the most in each store, so maybe they're switching back. I just thought that was kind of peculiar. Of course there were no good ones because I think they put all those online, but hmm. I also did peek at the shoes because those were right by the bags, but the shoes are a lot like the handbags where I am fairly certain they put any pair that they know is a decent or good brand online. So it is very rare nowadays to find even decent shoes at Goodwill. I did find these Uggs. They're pretty cute and they're a really modern style, but I still don't really want to spend $11 on them. So I'm gonna skip them. They must have switched over the seasons because the back wall is now shorts, which is where they used to have their jackets and coats. I decided to check the pants first, and I did find these Lafayette 148 pants. They're kind of like a shiny snakeskin material, which printed pants still don't do that well, and they were seven, so I thought I would skip them. The pants seemed pretty scarce, and I don't know if that's because of the season switchover or what. I did find these Beta Brands. A couple years back, I would have loved to find these, especially because they were actually a tall version, but I just looked them up just in case, and still Beta Brands seem to have awful comps, so no thanks. Well, these pants blend in with my shirt pretty well. <laughs> wow, now I can own Charter Club. Nothing in the pants, but I did realize that it's actually half off green tags today. I don't know if this is supposed to be Burberry mixed with Barefoot Dreams or something. Kind of weird, Bearberry. Alright, so now I think I will look at the men's, I guess. Every once in a while I look at the men's, just in case. Especially with half off pricing, I think I'll take a peek. Well... There was nothing in the men's, either. These Torrid pants are really cute. They were $13 though, which they're new with tag, so that's probably not the worst they could price them at, but they're cute. I would definitely get them at the bins, but not here. I also saw these Everlane jeans. They were white, and I've never seen this weird like peach Everlane label. It's probably older. I don't really want to get white jeans from Goodwill. They're also, I think, cropped length. Yeah, especially not for 11, no thanks. So then I looked at the jeans, and in the jeans, not much was catching my attention either. Blouses, there was an Ashakti piece. It was a very bad style, and I also have never tried anything but their dresses, so no thank you. So I looked in the sweaters and saw nothing, so blazers are my last hope. Come on, blazers, we can do this. 
Okay, blazers, come on. We we got one thing. We got a J. Crew blazer. This is a really cute one, and it's wool, and it's actually a tall size, and it's a good color for spring or winter or fall. So it is from 2017. It's not the newest, but it's not too, too old. And like I said, it's wool. So this is one I'd pick up even at $11. Before I leave, I am gonna look at the home pieces and furniture and decor, so if you wanna see, follow along. Here is a look at the furniture. They were well stocked on furniture, so I don't know why the clothing sections were so bare. Like I said, it must have to do with the season switchover or something. They always have interesting art, to say the least. There was this nice wine rack that honestly we would have a really good spot for at our house, but I have no room in my car. Also, it was really wiggly. Brian's dad would really like this. It's an Iowa, University of Iowa football poster. Clearly somebody had to take down their man cave of University of Iowa stuff because there's like five posters here. Me if I played tennis. There was a Dyson vacuum, which is probably a pretty good pickup to sell on like Marketplace or something. This one was really weird. It like wasn't a stand-up vacuum. It was a tube with this long like arm vacuum. They had priced it at 50 though, and I guarantee they haven't tested this, so definitely not. This is so funny. I had this as a kid. I remember it. It's like an ATM bank for all your money and bills. I wonder why I pursued accounting. These Starbucks cups kind of caught my attention. I used to sometimes sell some Starbucks things, but honestly, it takes a long time, and I'm just not a huge fan of selling home goods unless they're really worth it, so I'm not gonna get these. They had some really cute glasses in the glassware section. They had a lot of glasses. This was kind of a creepy, spooky one, and then there was a lot of these like fruit painted ones that I thought were really cute. There was no brand to them, so I definitely didn't buy them, but I thought they were cute. This was a really cute ice bucket too. I thought it was vintage, but then looking at the sticker on the bottom, I definitely don't think it is, so I wouldn't get it for any reason. I always like to look for Williams Sonoma or really expensive like wine glasses. These were kind of fun. I like that little yellow glass at the bottom. Ryan might not be here shopping with me, but his family is definitely here in spirit. I finally spotted a home brand that I do recognize and sometimes pick up. I found this Pottery Barn plate. Since it's just one, I'm not gonna be getting it. If it was a set, I maybe would get it to sell. Okay, leave me alone. This bowl just knows me so well. It's like we've met before or something. I do love popcorn. These are kind of cool, and once again, these were actually some Pottery Barn plates. They were a bunch of different kinds of beer, and I considered getting them, but then I looked them up, and they don't really sell for much. They were green tags, so they'd be half off, so I really considered getting them, but again, I just am not a huge fan of doing home pieces unless they're really, really worth it. Well guys, that was actually very disappointing. <laughs> I feel like I just wasted so much time going to that Goodwill, but whatever, you can't win them all. I'm really, really happy with how the bins went that second day we went. I don't know if I showed nearly everything that I got, but I will actually be showing you guys that this week. I know that we said that Ryan was gonna have a haul this week, and we will explain this in the beginning of the haul, but he has so much stuff extra after school going on this week that he didn't know about. So he will have his haul going up next week, and I'll be this week. 
I did really good at the bins this week, so I'm not too mad at not getting anything. I'm just disappointed that I feel like you guys didn't get to like see anything fun here at the end of this video. So I hope you enjoyed this. I'm sorry that this wasn't as like fun and good find filled as maybe other ones have been. I am now going to head back to Clothes Mentor myself and see if I'm gonna get any money from them <laughs> or if what they offer me on the luxury designer pieces is okay with me or not we will see but for you guys i gotta go home now and put this video together and voice over everything so i hope you enjoyed it let me know if you still like these kind of videos the thrift with me is where we kind of just like do it throughout the week what do you guys want to see soon do you want more consignment do you want more day in the life do you want more thrift with me's of course there will be hauls every single thursday but otherwise what do you guys want to see from me i'm always open to suggestions and i love to do the stuff that you guys want me to do i will see you guys when you choose to see me goodbye